Good morning, fourth grade. Today we're going to be learning about how we can use angles we know to measure angles we don't know. Um, and you're going to need a few supplies before we get started with this lesson. Um, each of you got a bag of pattern blocks in with your packets this week. Um, you will need that and you can go ahead and grab your practice page because we will um, be using that as well. I'm going to go ahead and share my screen and show you the shapes that we need. Now, if you are accessing your packets online, no worries. There are pattern blocks on your practice page for today that you can use. Oh, let me zoom out a little bit. Okay, so we are doing homework practice 15-3, measure with unit angles. A unit angle is just one degree. So when we think about a unit angle, we're thinking of one degree of measurement. Um, today, we are gonna be using these two shapes, a trapezoid and a diamond. If you have your packet, if you picked it up at school, you will need the red trapezoids out of it and the yellow, light yellow, tan color diamonds. If you access this online, you can cut this trapezoid out and this tan um, diamond out, and you can use those to finish these problems. All right, so now that we know what we need, make sure you have it with you. If you don't, go grab it and come on back. And we're gonna start with this problem right at the top of 15.3. It says that we can use a tan pattern block to find the measure of the angle below. Now we see that we're given the measurement of the tan pattern block. This small angle in the tan pattern block is 30 degrees. The bigger angle is 150 degrees. So what we can do then is we can use our knowledge of how many degrees each of these angles is worth to find the measurement. So we're looking for the measurement of this obtuse angle. And I see our, um, automatically that it's larger than the smaller angle of the tan pattern block, but it's smaller than the larger angle. So what I'm going to have to do is I'm going to have to, oops, sorry, they're paper, so they're a little hard to pick up. Um, I'm going to have to add more than one tan pattern block to equal that entire angle. So I have one, two, three, and four. So now I see I have filled in that entire angle with pattern blocks, and I can use my knowledge of adding to go ahead and figure that out. So I know that I can add 30 plus 30 plus 30 plus 30 and get the total angle, and it equals 120 degrees. So even though we didn't have a pattern block that exactly fit, we could put these angles together and add them to find the measurement of the angle we don't know. All right, so let's do a few of those on another page. So let's take a look at some problems like what you're going to see today in your math book. So we have some angles here and we don't know the measurement of it. So we're gonna have to use what we know of our trapezoid and what we know of our tan pattern block to try to determine what they equal. So I'm gonna have to just look and guess at first. It might take a few tries to, to get the angles correct and to get the correct shape where I need it to be. So I'm gonna look at this first one, number five. It looks like it might be similar to the smaller angle in the trapezoid, which equals 60 degrees. Let's see. Yes, I see when I slide this trapezoid in there, it covers that angle completely and doesn't go over. So that angle of number five is 60 degrees. And make sure when you write your angles, your degrees, my friends, that you put that little tiny zero up there, that's the degree sign, so I know that's what you're talking about. All right, let's move on. Now I look at this shape, I don't know that I even need to use a pattern block to figure that one out. 
because we learned yesterday that when we have a right angle, we always see this little box. Does anyone remember what a right angle equals? If you said 90 degrees, you were correct. I'm gonna go ahead and write 90 down, but then I'm going to check my work. Now I know that three times three is nine. So 30 times three would be 90. So I can use three of these tan pattern blocks to double check to make sure that this angle equals 90. Again, they're a little hard to work with because they're paper, but I do see that those three pattern blocks fit right in there. So very good. All right, let's move on. I look at number seven, it's a very small angle. And out of the angles in my shapes, I know that the tan pattern block has the smallest angle. So I'm gonna try that one first. And I see, yep, that fits perfectly. And I know from earlier that that small angle is 30 degrees. All right, let me take a look at this one, number eight. That's a pretty big angle. It looks like it might be the same as the bigger angle on my trapezoid. Let's try it. It is perfect. Good job. And now I'm going to look and um, check on my paper. It says that that angle is 120 <coughs> degrees. Oops. Very good. All right. Um, this seems like it's a pretty big angle too. But oh, no, it doesn't quite fit. So I have 120. But I still have a little more to go, right? So let's see if this small angle on the tan pattern block will fit. Yes, it does. So I have 120 degrees plus 30 degrees equals 150 degrees. Very good. All right, we've already done one of these with the boxes and you guys know what to do with that. Whenever we see a box like that, it means it is a right angle and um, it is worth 90 degrees. Let's skip down here to number 12. So this is a straight angle. We have learned what a straight angle equals, but if you don't remember off the top of your head, you can solve it using the same strategy that we have used on all of these other shapes. So the largest angle I have is in my tan, um, is the big angle in my tan pattern block. And I see that's not quite big enough. So now I'm gonna add another one. I know that that large angle is 150 degrees. So I'm gonna go ahead and write that down. But I know I need to add some more because there's still some left. So I'm going to slide another tan pattern block in here and see if that fits. It does, look at that, it makes a straight line. So 150 degrees plus 30 degrees because we know that small angle is 30 degrees gives me, and I'm gonna go ahead and write it off to the side over here, so I can do it up and down to make it easier. Equals, oops, sorry, you can't see that. There we go, 180 degrees. All right, kids, I hope that helps you out. I hope that um, you have lots of fun with your pattern shapes. Um, when you are finished um, doing your angles with your pattern shapes, you should all take a minute and do a little art project and put together a pattern or a picture with your um, shape patterns. And if you can, have your parents take a picture of it and send it to me. I would love to see it. All right, I hope you guys have a great Tuesday, and I will talk to you later.